what is up good people welcome and welcome back to another video it's your girl alex and defined by alex now before i get started i am just going through a little sinus cold mambo jambo and if my voice sounds a little nasally i apologize but listen i got some content that i'm ready to share with you guys and today's video is all about how to create svg files for your etsy shop now for those of you who have been following me on instagram then you know that i pretty much just announced that i am I am pausing selling physical products, which is t-shirts, but nonetheless, I've dived into other types of income streams that I think are gonna be helpful for me to share with y'all. For those of you who might not desire to wanna like have a physical product business, you don't desire to have the inventory in your house, you don't desire all of the ins and outs when it comes to running a home-based business that is a physical product. So, in today's video, I'm gonna pretty much talk about how to make a SVG file for your Etsy shop. Now, a SVG file is a scalable vector graph. So what that basically means is, is that you design a file and then when a customer downloads it, they can pretty much scale that to how big or how small they want to fit on their t-shirts and things like that. This is actually my newest business venture when it comes to passive income. Y'all, your girl has been on this passive income train and I don't plan on getting off, okay? What I've learned and discovered over these last couple of weeks is pretty cool to discover how to create these files and how that you can create a file one time and it sells on repeat, okay? The reason why I wanted to start selling SVG files was because I just simply wanted to just design something that I had taught myself when it came to selling my t-shirts. I didn't want to feel like I wasted all of that time learning Adobe, Photoshop, Canva, all these things, and pretty much just putting all this knowledge to waste. So I just decided to just gather all of all the information that I had learned you know over these past couple of years in designing t-shirts and using this knowledge to make my SVG files the cool thing about SVG files is that you can price them between you know a few cents like 90 cents to three dollars and you can really create your own kind of profit margins this can also bring in an additional like 200 to a thousand dollars a month depending on how serious you take this business now I will say Etsy is definitely a highly competitive marketplace. I know that when it comes to starting things, you know, you might feel intimidated. You might feel like it's saturated. Trust me, I get it, y'all. I get it. But that's why I'm here to show you how to create these files. So that way, if you do want to start, you know, bringing in some extra money this year, which I highly recommend, then let me go ahead and show you these fundamentals of how you can create these files and then in turn sell them to get your coin. So I'm going to hop into Canva real quick because that's what I'm going to be using to pretty much show you guys a file that I just designed really quickly and then I'm going to show you how you can convert that file if you don't have Canva Pro into an SVG file to sell on Etsy. Lego. All right good people so as y'all can see I am in Canva. Now for those of you who are very very new to Canva let me just give you some game real quick okay. Canva is a place to be when it comes to learning how to create designs and things like that with no experience. Like you do not need to have any type of certificate or degree in graphic design when it comes to you know designing files and things for your business so I just wanted to preface that in case you guys are a little bit intimidated okay it's totally good listen I did not take any type of graphic courses graphic design courses when starting out and I just learned on my own and so I just recommend that you just try it out play around with it and all that good stuff so this is what I just created on the fly real quick so it's something for Mother's Day um, I know that a lot of times on Etsy they love trends and they love you know things that are relevant so being that Mother's Day is coming up I highly recommend that you guys should start looking at the trends of files to see what's selling so that way it can help you like know what to recreate for your own business so I just pretty much just like I said designed something really quick and I grouped it together now let me just make this point if you don't have Canva Pro then I'm going to show you how you can take this JPEG file and convert it however However, if you do have Canva Pro, then you can just stay on one platform or one website and then just save that as an SVG file. So just right over here in the share on the share button um, for my options to download because I have Canva Pro, I have the option to do SVG if you guys see right here because I have the Canva Pro account. You'll also know that it's Canva Pro because they give you like this little crown icon that lets you know that oh, if you want to upgrade, these are all of the features that you will have access to. But 
if you don't have Canva Pro and you don't plan on it, which is fine because you know, that's like 14 extra dollars a month. And trust me, I get it. But what you can do is download a file a J in the JPEG format. Okay. So I'm just going to download this. I already downloaded it, but just for a reference, you want to download this as a JPEG format in Canva. And then what you're going to do next is go to this website. You want to go to this website called Convert IO or Conversio. Not sure how to pronounce it, but nonetheless, it is a free website for you to convert all of your files into an SVG file. So that when you upload them on Etsy, your customer just basically downloads, you know, the digital file that you've put on Etsy and they can start using it in like their Cricut design space and, you know, anything that requires an SVG file. So that's pretty much how it goes, y'all, when it comes to, you know, all the files that you need um, when having an SVG file business and the ways you can do it for free. If you don't want to use Canva Pro and you can't afford that right now, then this is the free option. Okay. So just a quick rundown, you're in Canva and you're done with your design. And then when you go to save it, save it as a JPEG format. Okay. And then when you're done, you're going to upload it to convert IO. And then that way you have your JPEG to SVG file all right there for the free. And you can keep running your Etsy business. Okay. So I'm hoping y'all sitting there thinking like, Oh, this seems really easy. It doesn't seem like it takes much. And let me tell you, friend, it doesn't. Okay. Creating SVG files is such a low maintenance and low effort type of a business. The one thing that I will stress when it comes to the actual brain power that's involved is that you want to make sure that you do have, you know, some really good creativity behind your files. Now that doesn't mean that people are not buying just simple text based designs, but what I would do, I would just go ahead and find like creative fonts and really find that things that you aren't seeing on Etsy, even though Etsy is a super saturated marketplace and you might think everybody is selling on there. They really do strive on being creative and unique. You can sell the same type of design and words, but if you have different texts and different fonts and things like that, then that gives you that leverage and also a good advantage of one upping the competitor because you coming off a little bit differently. And to be honest, that's how I'm growing on Etsy is because I'm seeing what other people are selling and I'm just recreating that. But in my own way, I may add some images in the text. I may add some 3D effects or whatever I think of, right? But nonetheless, Etsy is such a good place to have a passive income stream because you literally, like I said, all you doing is making this file one time and it's selling on repeat. And that's just going to be so good for your bank account and your life, honey, because we are defining our lives and building our dreams. Okay. Now, for those of you who are a little bit more advanced, you know, in that medium level type of graphic designer, and you kind of know what you're doing, then I would recommend you use like Adobe Illustrator and things like that. That's what I personally use when it comes to designing my SVG files. So if you are a beginner and just getting started and you want to take a stab at creating SVG files, then I would recommend Canva just because that interface is just so much more user friendly. You don't have to feel intimidated. You can mess up so many times and not get confused. Like, trust me, I get it. But then on the flip side, if you're someone like me and that kind of like intermediate and advanced space, then I would recommend Adobe Illustrator, Honey Photoshop, if you really want to take it there. Okay. So you can just, you know, use your discretion when it comes to where you are in your space of learning and your graphic design skills. But as y'all just saw, it doesn't take much to create the file and you definitely can achieve really great cut files and SVG files from Canva. All right, friends. So that is it for today's video on how you can create SVG files if you wanted to use Canva and how you can convert them for free using that website, which is convert.io to start your Etsy business. So just to let you guys in, I'm actually going to start like a whole Etsy series on my channel to help those of you get started with, you know, thinking about passive income ideas that you can do in 2022 and beyond. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think about possibly starting your SVG, you know, cut file business, your passive income? What do you think about about it so far at the first glance that you guys have seen this video and is this something that you might you know think of doing to bring in some extra money okay because honey at this point it's a requirement so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i truly appreciate it thank you guys for supporting me in this transition as i'm trying to get my life together because y'all sometimes it just be like that okay but nonetheless don't forget to mind your business and always choose yourself first and i'll be back in my next video bye y'all